Now that I've created a few patterns, let's look at how you might actually apply them and manipulate them. So any shape is fair game for a pattern. I could use the regular rectangle tool. I could use the blob brush tool to potentially just draw any old shape that I like. That's pretty effective. Note the blob brush tool appears to be painting with the stroke and not the fill, but when you've finished and actually look at it as a real object, it has in fact put the pattern on the fill. Just uh, watch that one. You can also put a pattern along a stroke. So if I set this spiral to use this pattern as a stroke, I'll need to put it up to a certain amount of weight to be able to see that. And it works much the same way as a pattern on a fill does. You probably want to play with variable widths to make this uh, look a little bit more interesting though. Now one thing which is a little bit unusual and I guess counterintuitive at first is how do you rotate the pattern within a shape if it's not quite what you want? Well, if you remember, we did look at the option under Preferences General to Transform Pattern Tiles, and I've got that on now. So when I move an object, the pattern moves with it. What if I temporarily don't want that? Well, I could use Object Transform Move and Deactivate Transform Patterns, so that when I move the object, the pattern stays exactly where it was, and effectively I'm cropping to see a different part of the pattern. Now that might be a useful thing, but sometimes if you only want to move the pattern, you can in fact turn off the transformation of objects and only transform the pattern. This is how you rotate it as well. So you can get a rotated version of a pattern. So you can really get exactly the effect you're looking for without messing too much with the pattern in the pattern swatches.